When he go out the door, get the gun. She telling him, no, don't get the gun. Don't. He got me fucked up. So by this time, they done made it down the stairs. So the other barber, the one that just got shot, he already paranoid. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He hearing gun. He never. He tell the. Uh, he tell them to go. He told Charles he ran in the restroom, but the dudes had already ran out the door, so that gave them enough time to get out the way. So by, I'm kind of just sitting in my shop now, like, dang. So I finally just gone and run out the door, and by that time I see Charleston run. I ain't never seen no gun that Charleston had. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But as I see him run, he's saying, where that motherfucker at? So he run. I just like don't shoot, don't shoot, cause everybody's like don't shoot. I'm like don't shoot. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't never seen a gun that Charles had, but it's one. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Man, you playing on, on, on the world right now. You playing with my livelihood now. You see what I'm saying? Why would you lie and say that, that this man got a gun, but you trying to hit him with a spray bottle? Yeah, uh, I just got attacked by Kevin Spencer asleep in the barber chair. Hit me upside the head with a gun. Try to hit with spray, I ain't he, the smartest detective he, in the world, man. Like I told the detective, because I lied to the detective and told me it wasn't no tape. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I told him it wasn't no tape because I felt like, hey, that was right here. Yeah. You don't that, that, that guy right here, man, Fort Worth, already, they think we crazy out here. But what made, okay, after a while then, what made you release the tape now? What made you release the tape now? Because this man went to jail. He come out and said, Trey Slack. Now, nah, before he went to jail, he said, yeah, Trey Slack, release the tape, Trey Slack, release the tape, Trey Slack. So I'm still like. So by this time, Detective Wong called me. So when Detective Wong called me, he said, such, such, such. He said, you got Wi Fi. I said, no, I ain't got no Wi Fi. You got, I ain't got no tape, because I didn't have no tape. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know I had no tape. So as uh, he keep talking, I say, there ain't no tape, it's my phone. You know what I'm saying? He said, you say it on your phone? I said, yeah, it's on my phone. He said, well, can I have? I said, no, you can't have my phone. I don't want you to have it. That's mine. You know what I'm saying? So at this time now, I'm thinking about it. Charleston, I, I don't know if Charleston's Charles smart, so I don't know if he playing no games, right? If he won't release the tape so he really can get him in trouble. Uh -huh. But right? couldn't they get a warrant to get your phone anyway that you had to give I it up? I just threw my phone away. Yeah, you can. Right? But at the same time, I still got in my ear. And it's in my ear and my head saying, this man hit him with a gun. Yeah, uh, I just got attacked by Kevin Spencer asleep in the barber chair. Hit me upside the head with a gun. That's where I come into play. Because it, it, it incriminates you and his brother. It incriminates all of us, and that's putting a look on my shop. So I get some thing, and I say, well, he hit him, but it wasn't no gun. Because when I get back in, see, don't nobody like y'all camera right here, right? So everybody is over this way. You see what I'm saying? Don't nobody even know this camera on. Don't nobody know the camera is in here but the camera. So don't nobody know what's on the camera but the camera until I walk back in. Uh, it, it, it seemed like it covered a lot of stuff. So if, if there was, I've heard all type of things. I hear there was, he. I, you hear him in the video say, get the pistol, get the gun. You hear that at the end. Who, Charles? Yes. Yeah. Um, like when 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 he ran out of here and 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 he heard a holler at the end of the video, people are wondering what happened after this after the camera goes after we stop seeing what you revealed to us. Right. So as I say, I get them out the door. Right. So by this time, I can kind of close the door, but Charleston wife, trying, he trying to get through those. She blocking Charleston so he don't get out. He ain't really trying to get out. You know what I'm saying? He really dazed, but he got to put on the show because this is his wife. Where you from? Nah, 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 You know what I'm saying? So as he got out the door, he running, his car is parked right at the door. So when he go out the door, Get the gun. She telling him, no, don't get the gun. Don't. He got me fucked up. So by this time, they done made it down the stairs. So the other barber, the one that just got shot, he already paranoid. You know what I'm saying? He hearing gun. He never, he tell the, he tell them to go. He told Charles he ran in the restroom, but the dudes had already ran out the door. So that gave them enough time to get out the way. So by, I'm kind of just sitting in my shop now like, dang. 
So I finally just gone and run out the door. And by the time I see Charleston run, I ain't never seen no gun that Charleston had. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But as I see him run, he's saying, where that motherfucker at? So he run, I just like, don't shoot, don't shoot, because everybody's like, don't shoot. I'm like, don't shoot. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't never seen a gun that Charleston had. But it's one. Because I told you, I, I, uh, uh, the video. It's another video. Wow, so the other it's video. It's a video on the backside of the building. That covers everything, and it may have picked up. It, that's what picked up, and that's how Charleston got this assault case. Oh, so basically, they got the boat footage. The they got, the laws got every. That's why I come on there and said, nigga, I don't care. The laws I already got it, and they ain't got it trapped and screwed. They got it how it go. And that's why they picked him up. And that's why they, see, he called the laws trying to get Kevin Spencer caught up with the aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Yeah. So, Kevin called, hey, I need that tape. I'm like, bro, you ain't getting this tape. I'm gonna bag up too. This one of the key points. So after this fight happened, right, the next day, I showed Charleston White brother the tape. I I I I texted him the tape and showed him, say, ain't nobody hit your brother with a gun. I got it on my phone right now, November the fourth. That's what, yeah, I you texted him the video, so he I had the video. Him the vid I, I texted him a 44 second snippet of the video mm -hmm. of the actual hit because he know he was helping, he was coaching me how to put the down. Yeah, y'all were both there. We were both there. So he coaching me how to do it because I don't know, I ain't never died nobody hurt. Well, that was the first day you were That dying. was my first day ever, so I really was in this. Okay. Do you think that you might have put a little too much on there? <laughs> no, it, was, it was a lot. It was a lot, but that hair was pretty in the mud when he finished. <laughs> it was nice in the mud. He, Go ahead. The way he did that video on the back of the ambulance, he looked good. He, <laughs> if you look in the comments when he was back there, people say, boy, your head's up straight in the mud. <laughs> I, I was telling him. Yeah. So you telling me that you sent Literally this video to his brother. And what did he say? November the 4th at 913. If you go back and look at this message, it's right there. And, and if you try to say that, it ain't, it's another text up under because we keep on responding every day, every morning. That's probably the first person I talk to every day was Kevin White. Kevin. You know what I'm saying? What wow. did he say when you sent that video to him and he saw it? I don't know. I showed it to him. I sh this is how I sent it to him. He I didn't say, oh, this, yeah, you this, right? No, this is how I showed it to him. I showed it to him in my shop. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm going to send this to you. And I sent it to him. You know how you show someone? Mm -hmm. I'm going to send it to you. So when you showed it to him in the shop, what did he say? No, with no gun. That's the exact words. Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't no gun. So I'm trying to figure out. How do you say I set you up? For one, Charleston made a tape when he first, it was an impromptu stop. I didn't know what that word was until he said it. Mm -hmm. I had to go look it up. It's a stop made where nobody knows I was coming. Exactly. So how can you say you made an impromptu stop? What that mean? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.